Welcome to Religious Studies program at East Carolina University. My name is Mary Nyangweso. I am the Director of Religious Studies program and I'll be speaking to you today about what to expect in the Religious Studies program at East Carolina University. Thank you for paying attention. Um, first of all, I am going to introduce my colleagues. Uh, you can see from the left center, I think probably right, uh, that's me, Mary Nyangweso, uh, followed by Dr. Calvin Massa, uh, and then Dr. Derek Maha, Dr. Lee Johnson, and Dr. Kathy Dawson. <coughs> we are a very small uh, faculty community, but we, we offer several courses, and uh, um, we work together very well. So I'm going to try to answer some of the questions students have always asked about our program. And the first question they ask is, what is religious studies? Now, religious studies at East Carolina University is a concentration in the multidisciplinary studies uh, uh, degree that is offered as, at East Carolina University. Now, what do we do in religious studies? We introduce our students to religion as an historical and a cultural phenomenon. We do not preach. We study the religion. Now, religion helps us reflect upon existential questions of life and death, and questions of power and powerlessness, questions that have bothered human beings for a very long time. The study also helps students to formulate informed principles of life so that you can develop a guidance to what kind of life you want to lead. At Kiss Carolina University, religion is studies as a non-sectarian interdisciplinary uh, uh, course where we do not exclude or promote any religious tradition. We look at all religions as equal because our main objective is to understand what religion is and why it manifests itself in many cultures and many communities. We examine also how religion informs social issues such as politics, such as education, such as health, and so on and so forth. Right? Now, as a student of religious studies at East Carolina, you are expected to accumulate 120 semester hours in order to graduate. Now this includes 40 hours in general education, 12 hours in foreign language, 30 semester hours in core religious studies courses, 6 hours of these have to be seminar courses, in a, you know, advanced courses for religious studies students to delve deep into the questions about studying religion. And you also have to acquire 18 semester hours of a minor that you decide to supplement so that you can get your 120 semester hours. And then you can also, there's also the possibility of you earning six sem semester hours if you decide to do a study abroad uh, program. Um, in, in religious studies, we have a program to India and we have a program to Kenya. So you can decide which one you want to do and earn your six, six hours, credit hours, and that will go towards accumulating your, 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 your hours. Now, one other question that is often asked of us is why major in religious studies? Well, religious studies has always existed in the world for as long as human beings have existed. Throughout history, it has expressed the deepest questions human beings can ask, and it has taken a central place in the lives of virtually all civilizations and cultures. As we think all the way back to the dawn of human consciousness, 
we find religion everywhere we turn. And even today, religion is in the television, religion is in film, religion is in popular music, in politics, in our towns and our neighborhoods. And therefore, to choose to study religion is to choose an equivalent to choosing a path of learning that will never end with graduation. It's a lifelong education. So why major in religious studies? So most of our students do major in religious studies to understand human beings. They also major for cultural awareness and to overcome human prejudices that we tend to all find ourselves with because we do not understand the other or people from other cultures or other religions or other uh, different uh, groups. Uh, they study to understand global awareness and to understand sources of global conflict and strategies for peaceful existence. You know, religion has been involved in some of these conflicts. And so to understand conflict, sometimes you have to understand the values of the people who believe in those, in, in whatever religions they have. And also for guidance in, in, in formulating the philosophy of life that you want to lead. So as I illustrate over here, we have different cultural backgrounds as human beings. And so learning to be sensitive to one another always results in harmony, learning to live in harmony and bringing about a peaceful existence. So if you decide to study in religious studies or to major in religious studies or take courses in religious studies, uh, here is a sample plan for most of our students. During the freshman year, they tend to complete 32 credits by taking a course in Introduction to Religion or a course in One Religions, that is really, really 1000 or really 1690. And then they may take other courses to supplement that. And during the second uh, year, they of course also take Religion 3500 or Religion 2000 uh, level, 2000 level, because again, there are many courses that fall into that category. So you choose which one you really want to do. And of course, make sure you fulfill your foreign language requirements. Um, by the end of the fourth year, you would have attained your 120 credits. Um, and the following slide actually gives you more details as to how to really accumulate your credits and what courses to really go for. And the, w this is based on some of the courses our students have always taken in order to complete their degree in four years. And so it's highly recommended that you, are, you look at it closely to be able to get a guide on how to select courses and so that you're not taking courses that, that you don't need um, towards your graduation. So another question often asked of us is what can a religious studies major do for you? And my answer is that almost anything. Religious studies majors do the same things in almost the same percentages as majors in other humanities or social sciences. As a liberal arts major, you acquire the skills other students get in thinking, speaking, and writing skills, and all these skills apply in any job, anywhere. Most religious studies graduates have applied these skills uh, in different careers, such as public jobs, non-profit jobs, government jobs, and even private sector jobs, because the skills are the same. As long as you acquire them, you can use them in any field. An understanding of diversity is a very important skill that is increasingly important in a, in a society today, and that is expected of most of the students who are graduating. Learning to connect with, the, with other people during service or developing that global perspective so you understand people from different parts of the world 
it's a very important skill and you can also acquire it if you do study abroad because you're going to have to travel and interact with pe people who are different from you and learn how to interact with people who are different from you. So that's one of things that it does and of course we have many renowned sc scholars and uh, politicians who have taken courses in religious studies. Now, I also want to talk about uh, the opportunity to double major or even minor in religious studies. Now, students who, t who tend to double major have the opportunity to double count, and that's very important, double counting two or more courses towards the completion of both majors. In other words, you take one course and it's going to count for both fields that you're going to take. Studies indicate that students who major in two fields are more apt than their single majoring peers to think both integratively and creatively. Double majors stand out on the job market as those with layers of interest, expertise, and ambition. And one of my students actually, after graduating, many, many years of graduating, called me back and said, Thank you so much for making me double major in religious studies. I, I feel exceptional everywhere I go because uh, my skills uh, kind of rank high compared to anyone else's. Right? And studies have been done to prove this fact. So it's something for you to consider uh, to double major in religious studies and any other field. Now, religious studies as a field is a very important one. And that's why we have famous people who said things about the, the, the study. For instance, we have Madeleine Albright, former United States Secretary of State. This is what she said about religion. In a world where people of all faiths are migrating and mingling like never before, we ignore the global impact of religion at, at our own peril. Another former United States Secretary of State John F. Curry said, if I went back to college today, I think I would probably major in comparative religion because that's how integrated it is in everything that we are working on and deciding and thinking about in life today. So these two renowned public uh, uh, officials recognize the importance of studying religion because religion integrates with many fields and many aspects of life, we cannot really ignore it. And we also have our students who've done great and majored in, in religious studies and another field, and that's something we encourage our students to do. For instance, Belinda Wiggins, who graduated with a double major in religious studies and criminal justice, works with the criminal justice uh, system and religious studies help, she realized that it's very important to understand how people think, the values that inform people's decisions. Frank Dibosky completed a double major in religious studies and anthropology. Um, he was admitted in the graduate school in anthropology. And in anthropology, they also study religion because they try to understand culture and how religion informs culture, something that he benefited from. We have Marcy Trivedi, who graduated from religious studies with a double major in religious studies and biology. And she was admitted for a master's degree in medicine at ECU Brody School and continued to work with religious studies uh, uh, faculty and uh, uh, looking at uh, Indian medicine and how it informs the medical field to this day. Tony Bill graduated with a double major in religious studies and English. He is completing a master's degree at the University of Chicago and has been admitted for a PhD degree at the University of Virginia. And then we have Nandita Rao, who also graduated with a double major in religious studies and biology. She completed her PhD and works as a doctor. So. And then we have Rex Ross, also graduated with a triple major in religious studies, journalism, and English, and works at ECU as a university program specialist. 
So you can see the varied fields in which our students end up going to. You know, you don't have to become a pastor when you tested religion, as most people tend to think. You go into the normal, natural fields that everybody else goes to. And of course, you can also become a minister. And that's another area of service that religious studies offers. All right, so let me review uh, the, some of the courses that we'll be offering in the fall of 2020. Um, so, of course, every semester religious studies offers a course in world religions and introduction to religion. Because those are like introductory courses required of all our students. Um, and then, of course, we also have uh, other courses that we offer at the 2000 level, 3000 level um, that you can take. Uh, for our graduating scene, and that's what you add on. Those are the electives you add on to the required courses and end up with your uh, 30 semester hours in religious studies. And then, of course, add to that other general education courses. Um, for the fall, this is the, an advice I would like to give you if you're planning to register for the fall. Um, of course, introduction to religious studies or world religions, you can take one or the other. You don't have to take both. Uh, you can take both if you want. Uh, some students do that. Um, but we, we advise you to take one or the other. And of course, I have listed there some of the other courses you might want to consider. Because remember, you're, t you're taking a degree in religious studies, but you also have to take courses in general ed to fulfill the 120 semester hours that are required of you. Um, and so these are the listed there are some of the courses you can consider taking. Now you have to consider taking foreign language. Uh, foreign language is offered at ECU in the sequence of 1000 level to 4th to, to to, to level. And so you can choose from French, German, Ancient Greek, Japanese, Latin, Russia, Spanish, whichever one you want to do. And you can take, if you have background in any one of them, you can take an online placement test, especially in Spanish, French, and German, on that website that listed there, and see if you can get a bypass credit uh, towards um, your language uh, requirement. Now. You may want to drop, uh, may drop one level, again, depending on the placement score that you're going to get. And if you continue with the language in which you have the prior experience, it is recommended that you start your foreign language as soon as possible. So again, this is something that you don't want to put on the side. You want to start facing it out as soon as you can. Now. Remember we talked of general education requirement, you need 40 semester hours, and some of these are going to come from the humanities, uh, fine arts, uh, so, and social science, and natural sciences. So you decide which courses you want. So you have a variety of courses to choose from. And of course, if you're in religious studies, you want to choose courses that fall within the category of religious studies because they're going to help boost your credits in religious studies. Um, but you can also choose from other fields as well, as long as you make sure that they are going to count. And you get, you're going to get a lot of advice from your advisor once you start the process. So these are the humanities courses to choose from. Um, religious studies is a humanities. Um, and so you can also choose from the natural sciences. You need seven semester hours from the natural sciences to be able to graduate. So again, we have a variety of courses there for you. Um, and then we have the social sciences as well. A variety of courses, again, the choice is yours. You need at least three courses from this section to be able to graduate. They all, and then they all add up. And then you, you need um, one, you must have one course in fine arts in order to graduate. And so again, the choice is all yours. And once you do, once you, this is a process you're going to work on for the four years you'll be at ECU. So if you're considering registering for the fall, I advise you to use the pin, this particular pin over here, 082420, to register for your courses. You go online and you, you're going to be guided on how to register, the, follow the steps needed 
and then graduate, uh, no, register the courses. If you have any questions, again, reach out to us. To, uh, reach out to us. I mean, we are here to help you. Some important reminders to put in mind. Make sure that you register for 12 semester hours, at least 12 semester hours. Some students register for more, but just make sure you can handle them. Right? You're going to find out that some classes will show closed. Those are like the popular classes. So they, 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 some students, not everybody students trying to get them, so they may show closed, but they may open later. So it's, it's a good idea for you to keep checking. Make sure that you know, maybe it has opened for you to register for it. Um, and explore, explore the websites for religious studies program, learn a little bit more about what we do, what we offer, and participate in whichever way you want. Uh, go to the advising website, a link is also listed. Uh, explore, um, ask questions, send out emails to whoever it is if you have any concerns. Um, and then also there's a catalog uh, area where you look at the actual requirements of your degree and any questions you have. And always consult your academic advisor whenever in doubt, whenever you have any issues. Always consult your academic advisor and make sure that your admission checklist is checked off all the way. Just to make sure that you've done everything that's expected of you. And that will be all. Uh, I want to thank you so much for listening to this presentation. And if you have any questions about the presentation or advice, uh, feel free to contact me. Again, my email is wangilam at ecu.edu. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>